Today we've got a nice general integral from our favorite integral suggester. So we want to suppose that a is a real number which is larger than 1. And then our goal is to calculate the integral from 1 over a to a of x squared over 1 plus x to the fourth. And the nice thing about this solution is that it doesn't really involve integration by parts. It involves like some other nice trick because the integration by parts solution, which would be standard here, is like kind of gnarly. Okay, so let's see what we can do first. So I'm gonna do like my favorite first step when doing problems like this. And when I say problems like this, I mean integrals that involve a substitution and then loop back to themselves. And that is, I will write this as one half and then the integral added to itself and kind of hide the fact that we're using a substitution to loop back to something similar to itself. Okay, so anyway, we've got the integral from one over a to a of x squared over one plus x to the fourth dx plus another copy of this integral. But for the second copy of this integral, we'll make a substitution. So let's write that here. So for the second integral, let's set x equal to one over u. Notice that that means that dx is equal to negative one over u squared du. When x is equal to one over a, that means that u is equal to a. And when x is equal to a, that tells us that u is equal to one over a. So that gives us kind of a full list of data for us to change the variables on this integral. Okay, so let's see what we're left with. So this plus will turn to a minus, and then we'll have the integral from a to one over a, and then we'll have one over u squared from this guy right here. And then we'll have another one over u squared du from the dx term. And then in the denominator, we'll have one plus one over u to the fourth. So we'll have something like that. But now let's take these bounds of integration and, swip the, and switch them at the cost of picking up a minus sign. So now we're going from one over a up to a, just like this first one. And now we're gonna rewrite both of these integrals so they look kind of similar to each other. So I'm gonna take this first integral and write it as, well, it's still the integral from one over a to a of one over one over x squared plus x squared dx. So what did I do there? I simply multiplied the numerator and the denominator by one over x squared. So I really just multiplied by one. Now we'll do the same kind of thing over here, but notice I've got a one over u squared here that's already set up to be taken down to the denominator. And I'll do a trivial change of variables here from u back to x. So that'll give me the integral from one over a to a of one over x squared plus x squared. Great. Where, like I said, I took this one over u squared, brought the u squared downstairs. I swapped the order here so it would look like this first integral though. Okay, nice. But now, look, I've got the same denominator on these two integrals and they have the same interval. So that means I can put them together quite nicely. I'll have one half the integral from one over a up to a of one plus one over x squared over one over x squared plus x squared, but I'm gonna rewrite that as x squared minus two plus one over x squared and then plus two. That completes the square there, but at the moment, all I did was add and subtract two. Okay, now I've got one, one half, the integral from one over a to a of one plus one over x squared, and then I'll have x minus one over x quantity squared plus two. That's from factoring this trinomial into a binomial squared. And now let's pick it up with this at the top of the next board. So this is what we've built up to so far. So we've got half the integral from one over a up to a of one plus 
1 over x squared over x minus 1 over x quantity squared plus 2. And that motivates a final substitution. So let's let u equal to x minus 1 over x. Notice that that means that du is equal to 1 plus 1 over x squared dx, just by using the power rule there. So we have all of this stuff that's being squared is equal to u, and then this numerator creates what I call the du earmuffs. I say that when I'm taking like, teaching like an integral calculus class. Next, we'll see that when x is equal to 1 over a, that means u is equal to 1 over a minus a, whereas when x is equal to a, that tells us that u is equal to a minus 1 over a. So that means we can take this and rewrite it as one half the integral from, well, like I said, this one over a minus a, but I'm gonna write that as minus a minus one over a up to a minus one over a. So we can recognize it as being a symmetric interval. And then we'll have du over one plus u squared. But we've got an even function being integrated over a symmetric integral so, so we can change that interval from zero to the upper bound, a minus one over a, if we multiply the whole thing by two, but that cancels this half. So we've got du over one plus u squared. I guess I should say this is two plus u squared. That was a close one. Nice. But now that's a standard function that has a standard antiderivative, and that antiderivative is one over the square root of two times the arctan of u over the square root of two. Now we need to evaluate that from zero up to a minus one over a, and then we'll be done. So our final answer here will be one over the square root of two, and then the inverse tangent of a minus one over a over the square root of two. Now I've done a lot of other interesting integrals on the channel. If you'd like to check one out, there should be one on the screen right now. And that's a good place to stop. Mm -hmm.